Yeah, thank you, Hiroaki. So, hello everyone. I'm Hiroaki Kawase from Meteorological Research Institute in Japan. So, today I have two topics. One is the resolution dependency of snowfall simulation in Japan. The other one is future changes in local environment due to snow melting, the snow disappearance. Okay. So, Japan has a lot of snowfall in winter, especially in the mountainous area in seen of Japan side. So now we are here in the Colorado border. Japan is much far from the US. And in winter, the Siberian high develops over the continent around here. And sometimes the extratropical cyclone develops east of Japan. So in these situations, the northwesterly like this prevailed over Japan which is called East Asian winter monsoons. So this northwesterly is uh, very cold and dry because it comes from Siberia. But it obtains a lot of moisture from warm scene of Japan. And then this air mass converts to a humid air. And it uh, reaches Japanese high mountains. And there is a lot of snowfall in this area. And look at this pier. Yeah, this pier is still taken in this area. So heavy snow broke the car. So if you have a chance to stay here, be careful to park your cars, <laughs> right? OK. So our Japan Meteorological Agency has uh, many observational stations called Amidas. And which may mainly observe the temperature, wind, and precipitation. And some stations observe the snow depths. But mostly in the plain area, there is few snow observations in mountainous area. So now we have our many future projections. So pre previous studies show that total snowfall or maximum snow depths will dramatically decrease in most part of Japan, similar to the other countries due to global warming. But it is not clear where the regional climate model can well simulate or project the snowfall, including the mountainous areas. It may depend on the resolution. And snow cover largely changes the surface condition. This is also important. So <coughs> the object objectives are to investigate the resolution dependency of snowfall simulation in Japan, mainly in the scene of Japan side. And the other one is to project the future changes in local environment field associated with snow disappearance in our spring. So this is the experimental design in the first topic. So we use the non-hydrostatic regional climate model, which is developed by Meteorological Research Institute, our institute. And the boundary condition is Japanese 50 years reanalysis data, which is called JR55. And <clears throat> this is one of the reanalysis data. The grid spacing is from JR to 20 kilometer, 5 kilometer, and 2 kilometer. So in this presentation, we compare the 5 kilometer simulation and 2 kilometer simulation. And uh, so target is from 2000 to 2016. And so the cumulus convection, convective parameterization are applied to 20 kilometer and 5 kilometer. For two kilometer simulations, on the precipitation processes, processes are only calculated by cloud microphysics. Okay. And this is analysis domain 20 kilometer, 5 kilometer, and 2 kilometer. So we focus on this area. And this is a topography. Uh, in five kilometer resolution and two, km, two kilometer resolution, and this is the realistic one, so five me, 50 meter mesh. So you can see that it's a little close in five kilometers, kilometer simulations. So, and we focus on these mountainous areas. So, of course, there is no offshore observation. So, we set the, this kind of time lapse cameras to observe the snow depths during the uh, snow seasons at 
first one is this one. It's uh, about 1,000 meter above sea level. The next point is here, 1,500 1, meter. And the last one is here, about 2,000 meter. So next, we show the result of the simulation of snow depths. This is a time series of snow depths in 2014 to 2015. And the gray one is observations. Unfortunately, the camera stops this, year, this, month, this time, so the observation is still here. And red one is two kilometer simulation, and blue, one, blue lines show the five kilometer simulation. So in site one and site two, the simulations well simulated, uh, the NHLCM well simulated the observational snow depths. The variation is good and snow depth is good. But please look at the site three, around 2,000 meters. The five kilometer regional climate model calculates a lot of snowfall, snow depths. So the maximum snow depth is about twice larger than observations. <coughs> so what, what happens in this area? So next figure shows the relationship between 70-year mean maximum, maximum snow depth, this axis, and the elevation, so this axis. And circle one is the results of two kilometer in HRC. And Triangles me represents the five kilometer simulations. And color means the location of observation. So you can see the five kilometer simulations calculates uh, a large snow depth around from 1,000 meter to 2,000 meter um, here. It's larger than the two kilometer simulations. So we speculate these results, focusing on the typical heavy snowfall day. So the, the difference is very clear. This is a two kilometer simulation, and vertical wind at 900 hectopascal, and this is a five kilometer simulation. So you can see the many convections, so have large upward wind and large downward wind appears over the oceans in two kilometer simulation. But five kilometer simulation cannot resolve this kind of convictions. So this is our precipitation. Two kilometer regional model can simulate the precipitation over the ocean, but five kilometer regional climate model cannot do this kind of precipitation. And there is one important thing. So in five kilometer simulations, over the mountains, the precipitation is larger than two kilometers. Because there is no precipitation over the ocean, so this air mass, the northwesterly, possesses a lot of moisture uh, still over the, over the land. And then uh, there, are, there is a lot of snow, lot of precipitation, so snowfall over the ocean, uh, over the mountains. So this feature is very clear if we see the daily precipitation. The five kilometer simulation is underestimated over the ocean, but overestimated uh, over the mountains. So we conclude that the convection permitting model are needed to simulate the convective precipitation over the ocean, which also influence the mountainous snowfall and snow depths around these areas. Okay, so next topic is the feature projection in snow cover and the environmental field. So as you have already known, the snowfall will decrease in the future due to global warming. So this figure shows the change in maximum snow depths in Japan, so annual maximum depth, snow depths and each month. So all months, the snow cover will decrease. This kind of snow decrease will influence the low level atmosphere because if the snow disappears, the land surface condition is quite different. So we investigate the influence using two kilometer simulations. 
and we use a similar experimental design, but a very heavy simulations. Uh, because this kind of simulation is not only for our snow research, but also other Japanese climate research. So this experiment is uh, supported by integrated research program for advanced climate model. This is a very large fund. It's one of the largest funding in Japan for climate change. And this mission, the horizontal resolution is two kilometer and five kilometer. And the boundary condition is from a 20 kilometer atmospheric general circulation model, derived by derived by reanalysis SST in the present climate. And uh, the reanalysis SST added by the three SST warm that warming anomaly derived from CMIF-5 uh, in future climate. The focus, we focus on 2076 to 2079 RCP 8.5 scenario. Okay, so I will show the change in surface maximum wind. So this figure shows that winter means, and this is a monthly annual maximum wind, sorry, monthly maximum surface wind. So blue color show the wind wear weakens, and red color show the wind wear strengthen. So please look at this figure. You can see the synoptic scale wind wear weakens. This is because of the weakened winter monsoons, uh, as suggested by previous studies. But locally, there is some areas that wind will strengths. For, for example, around here, around here, and here, especially in early March. So this may relate to the snow cover change. So we check the relation between the okay, changed in snow cover dates and the changed in maximum wind speed and change in temperature. So the red one is higher elevation above 500 meters, and black one shows the lower elevation below 500 meters. So in the lower elevations, the change in surface wind and temperature are related to the decrease in snow cover. But in the higher area here, red one, show, show the unclear relationship between change in snow cover dates and uh, wind and temperature. So this is not a simple ice albedo feedback. It depends on the elevation. So we speculate this mechanism. This is a vertical cross section across this area where the strengths of wind are simulated. This is potential temperature and this is stability. Here, the stability is simplified, defined the difference between specific potential temperature and, uh, and uh, uh, 50 hectopascal above that layer. So you can see the stable layers around here and uh, around here. And this is a future change in potential temperature and stable layers. So the larger warming appears in these areas. And same areas, you can see the stable layer. This stable layer gets less stable in the future climate. So we speculate the mechanism of the changes. So first, Snow disappearance due to global warming rises ground surface temperature in early spring. And at the low elevations or basins, the ground surface heating warms the surface air and corrupts the surface layers, which accelerates the surface air warming and strengthens the surface wind throughout the vertical momentum and uh, summer exchanges. But at high elevation or mountains, the stable layer does not develop in the present climate. So the wind is not strengths and surface warming similar to or a little warmer than surrounding atmosphere. OK. 
Okay, we conclude this talk. And what I want to say is high resolution regional climate models are needed for both resolving convection, convective precipitation over the ocean and resolving complex topography for the future projection in winter and early spring in Japan. Okay, that's all my talk. Thank you. <laughs>